Next up, we have our very own University of Waterloo's Emmanuel Alabi, and he, he's here to tell us about objective measurement of pain. Peter Drucker once said, you can't manage what you can't measure. How then have doctors been managing pain for the past centuries? Let's think about it for a moment, because the last time I checked, when you went to the hospital in pain, you were most likely given a chart like that and told to rate your pain on a scale of 1 to 10. Now, is a 5 for me the same as a 5 for you? As subjective as pain is, how do we expect the baby to do this? How do we expect that adult with cognitive challenges to be able to do this? I find it very interesting that for over 4,000 years, we have been able to objectively measure properties such as distance, time, weight, pressure. Yet, objective measurements of pain, one of the most important measurements affecting all 7.4 billion of us on Earth, have not been discovered to date. Ask yourself, what would the world be like if, say, our salaries or how fast we run were based on subjective ratings? It's tax season. Imagine the CRA coming up to you and telling you, on a scale of 1 to 10, rate your income as a graduate student. <laughs> I know for sure it would always be a 1 for us. And at the Olympics, well, in my opinion, I'm faster than Usain Bolt. This is exactly why we need objective measurements of pain. So now that we know the why, let's dive into another important component of a thesis, which is the how. My research involves using responses of the autonomic nervous system, mainly pupil size and blood flow, to objectively measure pain. The autonomic nervous system is the parts of our body that we do not control. And you may disagree with me readily, believing that you are in total control of your body. But if I told you, reduce your pupils by two millimeters, I'll bet you the prize money for this competition, you'll be unable to do so. I deliver precise and controlled pain to the surface of the eyes using a custom-built device called an esthesiometer. Don't worry, this research has received ethics clearance. While delivering the pain, I record your pupil size and your blood flow characteristics. And when I combine these values, I end up with a pain index, which is a value that tells me exactly how much pain an individual experiences. Let's take a step back from this for a moment. Close your eyes and imagine this baby crying and screaming at the top of his lungs because he is in so much pain and he cannot communicate this pain. Now I want you to open your eyes to a world where this baby is laughing with joy and happiness simply because his pain has been managed properly. And it was only managed properly because through my research, we were able to measure it objectively without him having to say a word. Thank you.